Hello what's up guys my name is Walid and welcome in this video in which I'm gonna be answering the question that every one of you asks if you are trying to make a game for the first time. What game engine should I use as a beginner? So if you thought about this question just a little bit you will find this quite confusing but in the reality the answer of it is so simple. And to prove you this I'm gonna make a comparison between the most popular three game engines worldwide. Those are Unity Engine, Unreal Engine and Goddot. We are gonna see which one is the best between them and you will find the answer of your question at the same time. So without further ado, let's dive in. As you can see now with me on the screen, there is three high definition scenes from the three game engines. The first one is Unity's, second one is Unreal's and third one is Goddot's. Just by the first look I can definitely tell you that Unreal has the best graphics, but really there is not a big difference between them. So should graphics be a decision to what game engine you will use? Simple enough, because you are an indie games developer. High graphics games need a huge team and a huge amount of time, so you can't simply do them. Plus look at Steam for example, or any games market, you will find that there is a lot of successful games that doesn't have a good graphics. On the other hand, there's a lot of ones that has a good graphics, but they are not successful. Because what matters is your ideas and your creativity. So let's move to the second point. As most of you know, every game engine uses a particular programming language to make the scripts. Unity uses C Sharp, Unreal Engine uses C++ and Godot uses three of C++, C Sharp and GDScript that is similar to Python. For example, if you already know Python, definitely you should go with Goddot. Why? Because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to learn, to learn GDScript than others. If you are good at C Sharp, you should go with Unity and so on. Visual scripting is also available in the three game engines, which basically allows you to make scripts using logic and notes for people who find problems with programming, as the example you are seeing now with me on the screen. Both Unity and Unreal has a lot of tools that can help you create your game faster and make it so much appealing, like the terrain editor that helps you create a good looking terrain in just few minutes, or Shader Graph and VFX Graph that helps you to make amazing effects without any programming experience. Also the three game engines has has stores like Unity Asset Store, Unreal Engine Marketplace, and Godot Assets Library, where you can buy assets for your games or sell your own assets if you are a 3D modeler. We will talk about this in details on an upcoming video. Unity has multiple plans for its users, but in this video we will talk just about the personal plan because it's more than enough to make your game. The Unity's personal plan is free, but you will have to upgrade to plus plan if your revenue is more than 100k dollars in the last year. On the other side, Unreal takes 5% subscription free from your game's revenue. And Godot is completely free to use without any fees or something like that. You will find the link in the description if you are interested to know more about Unity's plans. So what I'm gonna say at the end is that you can really choose whatever game engine between those three, because they have everything you will need. But if you are gonna program the first time in your life, you should start with Godot or Unity, because C++ that's being used in Unreal is so complicated and hard to understand. After getting comfortable with Unity or Godot, you can upgrade to Unreal Engine, and you will find it so much easier, because in the end all game engines have the same basics. I hope this video have been helpful for you. And before finishing it, I would like to mention that Spoiltbox and Game Maker Studio doesn't count as game engines at all, because they don't give you the ability to be creative and do whatever you want. I mean, all you do in those programs is drag and drop, so it's I think it's obvious. Press the like button if you like this video, press dislike if you don't, and see you in the next one.